serve the food here that's all i'm not like these others i'm not even a black volker please don't kill me well all right i still don't know how much help i can be but i sure hope you get rid of all the volkers i hate them what I i've never heard of such a thing i guess it might be in the garage on the lower level that's where all the volkers go to work on their swoop bikes but i've never been down there the elevator is protected by a security system. Only the Volkers are allowed to go down there. Is she that Republic soldier? I heard one of the Volker mention her, but she's not here. He said Brezhik didn't trust his men around her. I guess she's too important to be a slave here in the kitchens. Getting pawed and groped and kicked and spit on like me. Brezhik must have taken her somewhere safe. No! I won't go out like this. Not after all I've been through. I, I won't just let you kill me without a fight. Uh. <laughs> ah! Thank <laughs> you. 
Wata wa mamulira king konjo pesha. Tonga buksha unino. Wanda kun biski ta kun justa miki grabo mogo. Kachi kachi chuai sa hotunga. Ta kun justa miki grabo mogo. Kachi chuai tonga ituam jiji yumanit pa. Kachi chuai sa. ジベドアナニボボ。ウイアミジュスカジタナイパトガヤフキ。ゴクタビスティオボンコンキパンパ。チンパラチスカムリ。コンティジャニ。ウリラショクトロンウニパトガオンカチョミティゼ。トンガボ
Breshik stole that engine from Gadden. It was never yours to begin with. Tonga bug sham uninong, wanga kun. What? You can't betray Gadden. I won't let you. Ja shank pogra hul wan chiska nichu. Achu ba chiska wanki. Ti toki gratu. No, that that's not true. You're lying. Mana mana tota. Aku chikra tuk pola. They they said I was too young. Shag jikin lord jawata uma. Well, yeah, some of them were, but you folkers have tried to kill me more than once. Takum justak miki grabal mogo. Kachi chu aithao donga, tulpa da bonk molya gando da nago chuchut. But, but Gadden said Breshik. Kipuna! Puna ne kachu. Kimba no mulina na duana. You're right. I don't need anyone but Zalbar. If Gadden dies. He's only getting what's coming to him. Tong hai tuam jiji yumalith pa ang inkotu. Tol rundi hadonga ku hunga bi. Wana kunbes. Jink palamul tong ki. Ta bist yu bong kong ki pang pa. Jink palachiska muli. Tunia kuya mi juz kachita nai patoga ya fulki kukula. Mana mana tota aku chikra tuk bola di shock chonatong chong king no una konti chani mulira shong turung unid patoga wanga chone tize ikra tuk hatu chichi ya. What ki puna? Puna ne kachu. Kimba no mu. Thank <laughs> you. 
Are you? You can't come in here. Sound the alarm, Gadden! Relax, Kira. This is an ally, not an enemy. She's promised to help get our prototype accelerator back from the Vulcans. You're too trusting, Gadden. These must be the assassins Brezhik sent. How else did they get in here? Liar! The guards would have announced you. 
Gaddon, we've been betrayed again. We're under attack. Guards, guards! Come 
Madumpa Kunba Yia Moka Bata. Yami Jus Kachita Naipatotong Haituam Jiji Yumalitpa and Takum Jus Tak Miki Grabal Mogo Kachichu Aithaudonga Tolpada Shakchikin Lord Chawa Dauma Kavatonga Bug Sham Uninong Wanga Kun Bistkin Bamu Shag chikin lor chawa da uma Tokon ti jani Mulira ashonk turung Umni patoga wangka chone tize Leader of the Black Vulcans, am honored to award the victory prize to one of my own. Once again, pro well done. Through your skill and courage, you have. That's why it is with the greatest sadness that. When you hear what I have to say, you'll understand. It seems the woman I offered up as a prize is more than just a Republic officer. She's actually a Jedi. I've had to equip her with a neural disruptor collar to keep her mind in a state of unfocused confusion, just to make sure she doesn't use her force powers to escape. Obviously, I can't turn her over to you. It would be far too dangerous to have a Jedi as a slave. 
But rest assured, I'll find some other way to compensate you for your victory. Jawarabota, are you at the Honga Chakaki Dora? Kachi. You old fool. Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the. I might have something to say about that, Brezhik. <laughs> You were restrained by a neural disruptor! How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezhik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Focus To me! Kill this woman! Kill this swoop rider! Kill them all! Maybe those bloody Vulcus will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize... Wait, I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? You must have banked a turn too sharply, because it sounds like all the blood has rushed from your brain. I am Bastila Shan, a member of the Jedi Order and a fleet commander for the Republic. Nobody owns me. Now, we don't have time for joking around. What are you doing here? What saved you? Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezhik and his Vulcas would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. Yes, I suppose you can. Well, I appreciate your attempt to save me, even if it didn't really go as you planned. But let's get down to business. We're not out of danger yet. If I'm going to figure out a way for us to get off this planet, I need to know what kind of resources we can draw on. First, are we the only two survivors left from the Inner Spire? Karth Nasi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here.
You cannot win, Revan. Bastila, you're alive! Finally things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? My attitude. It strikes me that you are the one in sore need of an attitude adjustment. I happen to be in charge of this mission, if you'll recall. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. You know, I had my doubts about this mission, but I figured the Jedi Council wouldn't put you in charge if you weren't prepared. Here you are, acting like a spoiled child. I see. It's true that I don't have much military experience. Perhaps I should not be so quick to judge. Very well, Karth. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. A vision? A vision of what? This is... it's strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. The force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. Uh-huh.
How can I help? I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. I managed to free myself, as I recall. In fact, if I hadn't been there, Brezik and his thugs might have killed you in that fight. It's probably more accurate to say that I rescued you. I'll admit that I probably wouldn't have been able to free myself if not for the brawl after the swoop race. I guess I should thank you for that, at least. Actually, your presence at the swoop track is what I'm curious about. It couldn't have been an easy task to find me there, yet somehow you managed. You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Volker prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Tara Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. Your modesty is admirable. But though others helped, you were the catalyst for these events. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. A Jedi could have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. The Force is in all of us, though for most people it's barely a measurable whisper. There are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. Though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... Well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... Ah, yes. The rescue again. Very well. For what it's worth, I concede the point to you. You rescued me from Breshik. And yet we're still stuck here on Taurus. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. I'm here.
I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. My name's Candorous Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. I've got a plan to escape Taurus, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Careful. Mercs like this having a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Uh-uh-uh, not yet. First you bring me the launch codes. Then I'll tell you the rest of my plan. Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom built by Janice Nall. Just tell her Kandorus sent you and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Normally I'd do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javiar's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. Pretty soon, all of Terra. The more. No. What can I do? Bastila, I was wondering something. How did those Vulcans manage to capture a famous Jedi like you? Well, were you knocked out when your escape pod crashed? N no, I was conscious. But my Force powers were exhausted from using my battle meditation in the battle for the Inner Spire. Without my help, you might have never gotten off the ship alive. Fair enough, but I've seen you Jedi in action. There's, there's no way those thugs could have stood a chance against your lightsaber. M my lightsaber was misplaced. I couldn't find it after the crash. I looked everywhere in that pod. The Vulcas came and overwhelmed me, even as I was searching for my weapon. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You lost your lightsaber? Well, <laughs> I mean, isn't that a violation of some kind of Jedi code or something? This is no laughing matter. During the crash, my lightsaber must have... It must have fallen from my belt and rolled under my seat. The Vulcas probably found it there when they searched the wreckage. Hey, 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 don't get mad. I'm sorry. It's just funny to think of a legendary Jedi losing her lightsaber. Take my advice. This is one detail you might want to keep out of the history texts. I hardly consider myself a legend, Calf. Though I will consider your advice when I relate these events to the Jedi Council. There is no need for them to know every detail of what transpired. Remember, if you get your hand... Remember, if you get your hands on that Rat Ghoul Serum, take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office.
Kain kun shi kakchin awana wama we team and bonrang Mokao dang ya foki Chachiska do punta kakaspaka Watawama muliri kin kun shopeshwa no ba mule ra Off-limits. Only se it's obvious from the way you're... Well, why didn't you say so? Just be... figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless... But we've got a small problem. I haven't heard about anyone break... If you want me to help... Glad to hear it. Thank you. 